hello everyone so in this video i am going to discuss about the kafka security mechanism uh, so in my earlier videos i shared a couple of uh, uh, things like uh, uh, kafka retry and uh, exception handling setup and all so you can check it out uh, so today we are going to talk about the uh, security so here uh, i'll do uh, coding stuff step by step but first let me explain uh, the what are the various security mechanism and what uh, exception we get and uh, like that uh, will will create one spring boot producer app will create a consumer ad app and then we will apply uh, one security mechanism in this video and uh, we'll we'll see in action so as you can see like uh, we we have a kafka cluster and uh, then we have a client like a spring boot application or the a, any any other client client like uh, when we uh, talk to the kafka cluster so uh, so to ensure a secure communication between Kafka client and Kafka cluster, we need uh, uh, some security mechanism. So very uh, so plain text like we used to do. Uh, there's no security. SASL plain which we are going to see in this video. So that is a normal authentication. So we will secure our Kafka cluster with the username and password. And here communication is not encrypted. And the another mechanism is uh, SSL. So here uh, is uh, communication is uh, encrypted, but uh, there is no authentication. So that's why in the production environment it is recommended to use sasl ssl security mechanism because it includes the authentication process as well as the uh, network uh, our, our communication is encrypted uh, in, into the network so that's why it is recommended and last last one is Kerberos. so it uses some uh, centralized key and ticket mechanism to secure the authentication so sasl means simple authentication and ssl is secure sockets so that's why uh, it's a sasl simple authentication and SSS, ssl means secure socket so that's why uh, when we combine these sasl plane and ssl so that's why uh, we we get this uh, security mechanism like encryption along with the authentication in this video we'll see this uh, ssl plane okay so yeah as we discussed ssl plane like kafka broker we will secure it with username and password and any kafka client in this video we are going to create a spring boot producer and consumer app so both should provide the authentication data to talk to the kafka cluster and if we secure that kafka cluster and uh, we don't provide the uh, authentication data like username and password then we used to see this sasl handshake failed authentication exception so that we will also see and everything i'll i'll do from scratch okay so i hope uh, this is clear this various mechanism so now we will jump into the coding part okay so here i have uh, written down uh, all the steps so very first we need to get the uh, uh, apache kafka so that you can uh, you can download the binaries from here so i already downloaded this in my this uh, download section and i unzipped it so what i am going to do i am going to just copy this and uh, i have created one folder uh, under my c drive and kafka folder and i am going to paste uh, this here 
now what uh, what I'll do I'll just uh, edit some basic configuration so that it uh, run in my Windows machine so very first I'll just uh, let me copy this prefix so very first I'm going to update this zookeeper data directory so everything related to uh, our Kafka cluster so that internally they are going to dump the data here so that's why I am keeping this folder let me save and then I'm going to update this server property so here uh, let me update this log directory so when communication happen between Kafka cluster and uh, client so this uh, will be the directory here we can see the logs and also let me just enable this listener uh, key part okay I guess this is it okay so uh, we are done with these changes and then in Kafka bin and windows we have uh, lots of batch file and when we execute this batch file uh, it will uh, start the cluster with you with the with the help of these uh, configuration so let me just quickly yeah start these uh, zoo, uh, start our kafka cluster so these are the commands so let me do cmd so i'll go to bin windows and zookeeper start server and then let me provide the zookeeper properties so it will start the zookeeper okay now i am going to open another terminal so cmd and then i am going to start the kafka server so again same thing uh, this is inside bin windows and then Kafka server and let me provide the server properties fine so far this uh, I did nothing I just uh, provided the data directory and uh, the listener port I enable from this uh, these this zookeeper and server file and I have uh, given these uh, file as an input to the batch file so nothing uh, I did nothing related to security so far okay so our Kafka cluster is running now uh, now let me create a, a spring boot app and uh, we'll will go further so i'm going to the spring initializer and in the spring initializer i'm going to use this and java 11 version this is Maven okay so here I am just giving security and receiver let's say com security receiver and here message receiver sorry okay uh, just uh, right now I'm just uh, adding this web dependency so I think message receiver I think we are good so generate okay let me open it so let me extract first Extract all receiver. Cool. Uh, I have created one workspace. Let me just uh, have it there. See, 
Paper Project Security Kafka Security Workspace. So here I have added it. Let me open it. So I'll do CMD and idea dot. So it will open in IntelliJ. So I'm going to test this project. Let me do the cleanup also. So this I'm going to close, close here in downloads. I don't need this because I already copied it. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, this is I need to fix some time. This is just a Maven thing. Let me just get the path. Okay, fine. Okay, so the, I have uh, now uh, get got this project in IntelliJ and uh, let me just quickly refresh it so that it get the dependencies and uh, now uh, i have created this now i'm going to add these dependency in my pom.xml so uh, we have kafka client and the spring kafka so this is pretty obvious why we need these two dependencies because here uh, we ha we have kafka client and the kafka broker that's why we need a spring kafka and kafka client dependency and uh, here i'm going to have it oh, let me just paste it and yeah, refresh maven refresh i did so it will get the dependencies fine now uh, again uh, so next thing is i'm just providing some uh, configuration so that uh, uh, it is related to kafka we'll discuss uh, when required but uh, this is a very basic uh, configuration we need so i'm going to just have it here so here uh, this is just uh, um, uh, broker information that is localhost 9092 and then i have uh, added additionally server port because in 8080 i'm going to run our producer app and this is a basic uh, auto commit false and the earliest means every time it should read uh, from the beginning uh, that offset reset earliest means uh, from the topic it will read every time from the beginning when we start this app cool uh, then another thing is uh, let me add one package uh, that is uh, uh, receiver uh, listener and inside listener let me add the uh, let me give some good Kafka message receiver. Kafka message receiver, yeah. Okay, Java class. Cool. Okay, now let me just quickly copy this uh, part. We'll discuss them. Okay, let me import. Cool. And component. Fine. Okay. So uh, this will be the group ID, uh, and this is the topic name. And uh, uh, simply, we just uh, we are just printing the message from this topic value only cool so this part is ready and when we so our uh, our kafka cluster is already running so that is fine uh, what is this okay leave it okay uh, so our uh, consumer app is now running and uh, now 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 ready so in similar way, let me create a producer app also. 
So here, let me do the same thing. Producer message producer going to remove this and web so this is fine uh, generate okay so it is scanning open let me just extract all fine so message producer cut uh, in C drive, I've created this project yeah, here. And in similar way, let me just open it to IntelliJ uh, idea, current one. Okay, so this will ask for trust, a uh, new window. Okay, let me keep the Maven setting. Okay. So it will, it is fine. Uh, again, uh, so this uh, app also requires the same thing, same dependencies. So I'm going to add this Spring Kafka and Kafka client in message producer app. Okay, I guess I'm doing bit fast. Got hang sometimes. Okay. So let me do the Maven refresh here. Okay. I guess uh, the dependency is already downloaded. That's why it's very fast. Uh, anyway, so uh, now we will uh, we will also here add the uh, configuration part. So let me add it. In, in the application dot properties okay I guess internally it is uh, not ready that's why it's taking time fine so here also I'm, uh, I, I provided our local bootstrap server information and the topic information. So that uh, quick start zero one topic I'm going to listen and uh, this app will pro produce message here. So that is fine. Now let me create uh, a a message producer and then uh, I'm going to create a rest controller so that we can uh, uh, in runtime we can put the messages so let me create a package producer and then let me do messages okay of com assess producer and <clears throat> let me just copy paste this basic stuff okay so this is very basic configuration like uh, this we need to create a kafka template and we need to provide that what kind of uh, message we are going to produce uh, or key value so in our case this is string and then this send message uh, kafka template uh, send message will use kafka template to send the message uh, to the given topic and again this is also a component fine now i am going to create a controller
and then we have a sender okay so let me quickly copy paste this is a very basic things let me auto import Okay. Rest controller configuration. Okay. Okay. So he, uh, this rest controller and configuration and request mapping. So request mapping just uh, we, we are going to uh, make a post request to send the messages with uh, with the help of path uh, variable. And then uh, we have just auto wired this uh, our Kafka message producer and that Kafka message producer uh, has the send method which will internally talk to the Kafka template and that Kafka template will uh, use this uh, configuration and send message to the given topic and topic information we have uh, provided here in the application dot property cool so this part is also ready and uh, fine and that uh, here uh, it will run in 8080 and this is a consumer app and this consumer app will run in 8081 fine so now let me close fine so let me run this app first i'm running this consumer app let's see Our Kafka cluster is already running. Okay, I am going to clean this up and then let me open, run this uh, producer app. Close all tab. I just need this. Okay. So, run. And meanwhile, let me open the postman. I'm going to clean up this also and uh, okay. So send and then we'll apply the message. Cool. Sometimes it's taking very long. Sorry. And then this app should uh, read this. Okay. So uh, our producer is running on 8080 and dismiss. So I'm going to hit it. Hi without secure send. So this is success and our consumer app uh, read it uh, successfully. And uh, here we have pushed successfully. This is a producer app. So let me push again. Uh, like SL plane push. So SSL plane, fine. So uh, we are good with the basic stuff now. 
now uh, we uh, you saw earlier that we have to apply this SSL plane uh, authentication and first we will apply into our Kafka cluster and then we will again run this app and see these SASL handshake fail authentication exception and then we will resolve we will see how to resolve those exceptions but very first we need to secure our Kafka uh, cluster so how to secure it uh, let me uh, close this uh, both the app I'm closing this uh, and I'm also closing this stop consumer app so both the app now stopped cool now uh, uh, let me close our Kafka cluster also because I'm going to apply the uh, security mechanism so we need a restart okay these two not required fine so how to secure so very first uh, what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to create a jazz file uh, that is Kafka server jazz configuration and this uh, configuration uh, has the username and password so I'm, I'm going to have the admin and admin secret so let me create this file and I'll, I'll keep this file inside the uh, Kafka config so I have uh, I have created this file so here we have the same thing whatever I showed there so here this is the same file like username and password admin and admin secret and this is a plain login module so let me have it inside the config folder I'm going to copy then see Kafka config I'm going to paste it here cool and then uh, I need to set up this uh, uh, environment variable so that Java knows uh, will know about this uh, configuration and because internally uh, they are bind together Kafka and Java so let me just apply this uh, uh, environment variable and so that uh, this uh, Java knows about this file jazz configuration so uh, I'm going to just apply this so go to property and environment variable let me add a new one Kafka ops and uh, this will be the value for the uh, Kafka ops environment variable so this is the security auth login config and this is the path a Kafka config so this is it okay and done fine and then uh, we need to just update our uh, server properties so we need to give the these information like listener uh, will be SASL plain text and this mechanism also we everywhere we need to provide this uh, SASL plain text related to con related configuration so let me just copy it and going to the C Kafka config and then server dot properties here we have this listener instead of that let me apply this configuration and then I'm going to disable this old one okay so uh, the when we apply this now I'm going to uh, so now this is our SSL plane is now enabled in our Kafka uh, cluster uh, now let me open uh, let, let me restart or run uh, our Kafka cluster again 
so cmd then bin windows zookeeper config zookeeper properties and then uh, again cmd then bin windows Kafka server and then config uh, server dot properties cool okay now uh, uh, now we have uh, our server has the SSL plain configuration that is username and password is uh, applied uh, because uh, we have uh, enabled this SSL plain text configuration and also we have given the JAS configuration. Now, uh, but but our Kafka client don't have uh, that authentication data. So let's uh, run this app again and uh, see. I guess okay. That that has been closed. So we have this workspace and then producer. then receiver okay Now for safer side, let me just change the topic name and both the places and the group ID also so that we can, we will be sure that now I'm going to make a request for the secured Kafka cluster. Okay, so close all tabs and then producer application let me run it and here close all tab receiver run okay so now let's say uh, let's say let me just try to send the data SSL plane or let me send SSL no auth send see uh, this is not happening because because uh, they don't know our Kafka cluster don't know about the authentication data and if we see somewhere the logs in the Kafka cluster, see SSL handshake and unexpected Kafka request. Let me quickly close this. Okay. Here also I'm going to close this. I stop this server. Okay. So you see here uh, the same which we saw failed authentication and SSL handshake. So the same SSL handshake and failed authentication unexpected Kafka request because our Kafka client uh, doesn't provide the uh, authentication information. So uh, now what we will do we will just do our last step. 
so we are going to apply these auth configuration in producer and consumer also so this is our auth configuration for the producer app so let me copy this or disable this one and here I'm going to create a new topic and this is again a bootstrap server and this is a, a SSL plain text and jazz config and that's why we have given uh, the Kafka ops environment variable uh, and this is the uh, plain login module and the same admin and admin secret so now this configuration will be read by the uh, spring boot app and this message producer and same thing i need to do in our uh, consumer app so in consumer app let me copy this so one key difference is i'll show you Let me just okay. So here you see we have a Kafka consumer and JS config and security protocol. The rest is same uh, like previous, and uh, here we have a Kafka producer security protocol and SSL mechanism and JS config. Password and username is ev same everywhere. Cool. So that's it. Let me just now now when we run the app uh, Let me just ch cross check the uh, Our topic so this should be three and That's it. So now we enabled now we provided the authentication data uh, and the same authentication data applied to our uh, kafka cluster okay so let me rerun it and here also this is producer i'll run it again okay so here uh, when we now send the SASL plane enabled sent see success so now uh, pushed successfully and this is completed plane enabled clear all now when you push uh, let me just make it in a single window enabled one let's see ssl plane enabled one now two this is two okay so this is fine this is fine and pushed successfully but uh, one thing so here uh, whatever we did it is not encrypted so uh, uh, just consider it as a assignment for your work you just go to your kafka server logs which you have given in your server properties and you can see whatever the messages you are pushing to your kafka cluster these are not encrypted and that's why we need a uh, SSL TLS mechanism. So the, along with the authentication, it will encrypt your communication. So that's why in production environment, is, it is recommended to encrypt your communication and along with uh, the, the uh, authentication. So I hope uh, my video makes sense uh, to all of you related to the security and uh, uh, let's see i'll also try to i'll i'll provide the github link uh, in the description or in in the comment section 
and uh, in my future video I'll, I'll create the SASL SSL so I'll create uh, the certificate part and along with the authentication I'll apply the certificate so that uh, we will get the full picture but uh, for the starting point of view uh, yeah it's uh, good to understand okay so that's it thank you so much